welcome to one of my first haul videos, I guess, of Happy Planet. We um, got on the Intel line that Hobby Lobby was having a clearance sale. And there's been things I wanted from Happy Planner, but I was, wasn't willing to pay their price. So I went over and see what they had. Let's see what I picked up, shall we? Oh, let me just add that in here. Hey guys, I've done a haul. Here's the haul. Yep, it's a pile of it. Alright, let's go through. Let's talk about it. Let's show you all. Alright, so we got the Seasons of Color. A lot more florals. A lot more dark florals, which I really, really like here. I'll do a flip through for this before we get through. I went ahead and grabbed the uh, Work Life Happy Planner Large Pouch. I think this will be great to throw my planner stuff in. And we got the uh, Stay Humble and Kind um, sticker fan book. It's all gold, which is nice. I like my gold in my planner. Then we got the Without Risk, There Would Be No Magic um, stickers. We'll be opening those, do a flip through of those. I know there's tons of flip throughs of these things online. We'll do my version. And then we got the other one, and this was only three dollars and twenty, uh, three dollars and seventy-four cents, marked down from sixteen ninety-nine. Yes, I made them squeal when I got their pennies. Um, don't forget to take notes and have fun. It's um, a posted pad set that will be going into my planner stuff. We got some everyday note paper. I love a good set of notebook paper. This is that very nice design. We got half letter um, to do list. This will have multiple uses. I'll show you what I'm going to do with a lot of that in a little bit in another video. We went ahead and we grabbed the recipe maker for $7.47. Um, it's got 91 original recipe sheets. Um, so Joe's going to be making a cookbook. Then we got me a new purse planner. This is the 2023 Horizon layout. Um, and this is the real pretty one. We'll go through that in a minute. I went ahead and got an extension pack. If you get a planner set right now, if you can grab the undated extension packs, grab them. This was only $4.49. It's already pre-planted. All that. So that's, you can go ahead and grab that. Um, because, you know, if you know it, you know it. Once Happy Planner comes out with something good, they get rid of it. All right, so we went ahead and we grabbed some uh, double-sided tape, tape runners. I use these a lot when I'm pranking and planning, which is what we'll be doing. And then we got a little, bo a little bobble for Joe to do a necklace with. I think he'll like that a lot. Um, it's two clocks, so that'll be interesting. Maybe he can keep up with some double timing. All right. Then we got the Wild and Beauty extension uh, companion pack. I wanted the Wild and Beauty big planner, but they did not have it at a price I was willing to pay. So I got the extension pack. Got Joe some fill-in recipe book sheets. All right. This will be a new series. It's the monthly budget edition. Um... So it's undated, but we're going to start doing this. You guys are going to start getting budget planning videos. I recently showed you how I keep up with the finances. So you guys are going to see what it looks like to budget for a poly household. And then, I don't see the umph of existence, the one that I refused to pay $52 for. I ended up paying $11.14, Happy Planner. Thank you very much. So that is a big, big discount. And this is the work, um, the work life planner. This will be the new shell of the of my planner. Um, and that's what I bought it for was the shell. Um, let's flip through here and talk about what I'm going to be using versus what I'm not going to be using or what I'm going to be possibly modifying to fit me. Now this is the deluxe version. And we like deluxe versions because that means it comes with the metal disc which i prefer 
I love the case. It's actually more of a bookcase. So it'll be easier to carry around. Um, so we pop the plastic. You know, I really do not find this necessary, guys. That's the minimum packaging. Can we debate and talk about that? Because we get too much of that. All right. So this is what it looks like when we open her up. The die cardboard. Got the nice open rings here. A nice solid cardboardish polyvinyl set. Beautiful tab labels, which I like. That's the one thing I've missed in it. Um, so we will be using those and holding on to those because what I'm thinking about doing at the end of the year oh okay so they've literally tabbed the whole month in that tab interesting okay very cool um is being able to cover this because this is really good cardstock cover this with the paper and then i still have january just don't have my monthly calendar here but we'll see what happens with that again that's an idea i've had this of course is the three box vertical Zoom me down here so you can see. I don't normally use this style of planner, so I'm not going to probably be using these sheets. Or what I'm going to do is use these sheets, but use them differently, modify them. So there's January, there's February, and you know the sheets are all cut out. I'm not really ha loving that, but it'll be okay for what I plan to use because um, I'll probably just keep the monthlies. The monthlies are very basic, very boring. That's okay. We can tabulate those, those up. May, if you if you, if you change nothing, nothing will change. That is so true. June, all they did was make it a quarter inch longer. Okay, well, that's not too bad. And then we go into the next part of the year. And, of course, it's a tab down. So we will be tabbing down. So, is Asen switching everything out? No, Asen's going to be using some of this. He probably won't use the weekly inserts. So he'll probably just keep with the monthlies and then go off of that. December, again, all they did was just extend the tab out. Okay, we can deal with that. We do have a nice folder here, which is a good buy-in. These are hard to come by. Uh, and then we have some stickers here, some sample stickers. I like the dots. I like the color. All right, so let's grab more of the workplace stuff that goes with this planner set. And let's take a look through that. And then we'll move on to the other stuff because we've got a couple things. Um, so we have Without Risk, There Would Be No Magic. This was a fan sticker book instead of flipping up. You fold out like a fan which is okay i mean it's different it's easier to carry there are some dots like these are all functional stickers looks like this is some lines or some boxes arrows um half moon circles um triangles or page tabs that could be useful check boxes and some more like lined areas there Okay, this one's kind of basic. It's a nice unit terms. I like the colors of that. And for the $3.74, it's worth it. There's enough in there that I'll use. All right. Moving over to the don't forget to take notes. See what's going on with it. I'm hoping that it's actually good post-its. I do not like this new packaging because you can't look through anything. All right, so yeah, we have post-it notes. They have remember noted, um, little tab, like page flag post-it notes, which is kind of nice. And then post-it notes there. These little dot ones, see, they're already coming off. You know, so I don't think those will be much usable. Um, yeah, say, what are you going to do with that, guys? What are you going to do with that? Flip it at your coworkers at a boring meeting. That's what you're going to do with it. So those will probably be brought out. Um, but I do plan on using those as sticky notes. I do like the little case here. This could be useful for something. All right. The other one was the Stay Home Bowling Pine um, sticker work life. Um, and it's from Happy Brands. Notice the name. Not Happy Planner. Happy Brands. 
It's become a brand. And the reason I like this one is it's got the gold dots in it, which is nice. This is the gold accent, which I really value. And I think it's all like lines, dots, teardrops, um, arrows. Yeah, it's the same layout, but this is the whole gold line of stuff. So that could be useful. Okay, cool. Is that the only? And then this is work like. And this is a large pouch. Um, the large pouch from Happy Brands. Um, it looks nice. It feels comfortable. It's got a good zipper. I do like that. But what I like about it is it's big enough that I can throw everything I need to in it. So like to do a reading or I can throw all my planner stuff in it. And it can just go quickly into my bag and be done. So there's that. So like this, we can name these. And we move on. All right, so there's that. Let's take a look at the budget planner. Let me put this one up. I'm still not happy about this black bar across here. That will most likely become washi tape if you know if I have any associates with that um, because I just don't like that solid white edge. But I do like the casing. I did buy this more for the casing. You know, we buy for rings and rings and covers here. But I'm going to use what tools in it I can use, salvage out of it for mine. I, the big thing about it is that it's a book hard case that's a little bit lighter than the one that I currently carry. So that's kind of cool. There's that. All right, budget planner. We got the Know Your Worth budget planner. It's uninvaded budget edition. So let's take a look and see what we can do with it. Okay, it's the black again, which is awesome. I like the solid colors, black and gold. Um, hello, and then it goes into your monthly page. It's an undated planner, so we're going to have to put some dates in there. But it's got household expense breakdown for budget, how to build a budget, your savings tracker, your accounting for your debits, for what you spent, where you spent it. Weekly expenses, there's a few pages of those. I don't know if I'm going to use those um, because tracking every little expense can be a month, little bit much. A check it off list and then another blank page for, I guess, you to write out your goals or whatever. And that looks to be the way it is. Um, yeah, you know, different covers. Ma the ma the, there's magic and saving. Um, of course, the Dollar. Um, know your worth. Save today, spend tomorrow. This uh, this one's kind of nice. But what's really great with these budget planners is you can take and if you need just your monthly, you can use your month, just use the monthly, um, and then build your budget right here which is kind of cool. It has most of the um, categories I use. Um, so yeah, you can track your budget here, track your savings here. I don't think that's enough space for me to track my savings. Um, I might have to do that from a page itself, or I may turn weekly expenses into weekly savings, which we'll talk about that. There's a few different ways you can save, you can build savings as a advisor or geek worker. All right, so there's that. That looks pretty good for what I wanted to do, and it moves it out of my planner. All right, so we got this extension pack. Um, it is the planner equivalent one. It is the Wild and Beautiful, which I like the Wild and Beautiful. I did not like the Wild and Beautiful planner. Now, this extension pack was priced at $32.99. We paid $8.42. All right, so we get this lovely little pouch, which I found really handy to throw um, odds and ends in, um, makeup, that type of thing. I like having a odds and end bags. I have a few of those. And then we have a storage folder. And we have some note paper, which I really like. Uh, that's very nice for... Oh, yeah, these are very nice, high quality. These will make nice dividers. 
Um, they're considered vision boards. I think they'll make lovely dividers and sections in our planner. We have some basic stickers here to play with. Um, we have another folder. We have this wet to dry thing. And they come in, in a lot of things. I like it as a top divider. I prefer to use this as a bookmark. Like I may send this to Joe to like slice down the center or something. We will see what happens with that. We have these envelopes. These are great for receipts. These are great for like money and cash budgeting, uh, ca envelope, uh, cash enveloping, which we haven't gotten to yet, but we may. We have these sheets, which are actually, see, these are actually really nice sheets. If they sold these as their own, you know, this would be kind of cool. And then notebook paper, which, you know, in paper planning, notebook paper is wonderful, wonderful things. And then a nice folder to keep it in. Was Would this be worth the $32? No. No, it's not worth the $32. It is worth the $8. Like, I'll give them the 8 And this is what I do with Happy Planners. I'll wait. And do I get everything I want from Happy Planner? No. But I'll sit back and I'll wait. I'll hold my peace and relax and let things kind of go on sale. And then I'll go and I'll do... I'll buy everything I want, and then I'm done with it. It's like, oh, that was nice. Now I'm done. Let me move forward. Let me move on to the next thing. So this is the Make Today Beautiful stickers, which are kind of nice. There's this ones, and then there's these. I really wish they'd get away from these little circle stickers. I don't find them useful. Um, that's just me. But it's a nice wildlife thing. I like these. I have a few of these, and I'm going to probably show you how to do a cash envelope system with them all right so there is that uh, sorry guys trying to keep things from falling off the desk okay so first planner we paid seven dollars and four and 49 cents it is the classic sign classic skinny um, that we will be using it was originally placed at for twenty nine, well twenty nine ninety nine. Again, I don't think it's worth twenty nine ninety nine. I think it's worth seven forty nine though, and I will pay seven forty nine for something that's worth it. Um, now, you guys will probably be seeing this at least once a month. I'm going to set it up for my purse. I'm going to put in like the grocery list, um, the appointments that I need to be aware of. Um, and I bought some paper there for grocery lists and that type of stuff. This, and then I'll probably also, we'll put in the cash envelopes. So things I will probably change is I'll probably put on real rings. Sorry, guys, these little tiny rings I don't think are real. Um, Magic is in you in January. Well, that's kind of cute. And then it just has a calendar and then a line day. And then it goes into the horizons, and I like the horizons. We repeat the same thing here in February. So, yeah. There'll be some decoration. There'll be some base planning. And there'll be some grocery list making. Because I can do that. I can kind of have that for quick reference in my purse. Um, for like, hey, can you come on, you know, May 13th. Right, May 13th. I um, can go ahead, dot that. I'll show you how I set this up. Um... And again, I think that I will do this monthly to sit down with you and show you my purse planner <coughs> and what all is built into that. Um, this will probably be, I will probably sit down this week and set this up because I have ran through the green notebook. Um, the green notebook planner or that we were using for the um, journal, I've ran through it. It's time to move on and I think this will be great. Um, and we'll be using some components, but that's why I got these four. I also got these for my um, weekly. I'm going to be changing my weekly a little bit, but it'll be doing fine. Okay. So the companion paper, which is literally a planner without rings, is four dollars and forty nine cents. It's five hundred two pieces, and originally. It was twenty four ninety nine because it's six months, so they cut it in half. Yeah, we'll pay four bucks for that. And then we got some new notebook paper. Again, it's very elegant. I like this. This is that neutral tone. Um, if they had built a banner 
with these neutral tones that was not dashboard, if it was line vertical, I would have been interested in it. You got it. All right, there we go. Yep, I've been pulling stuff so much, you guys are trying to get everything. There we go. So anyhow, notebook paper, again, can't go wrong with this. It was $7.99. It's normally about that price. That's what I base a lot of what I buy from Happy Planner on, is how much, the no is how much they're charging for the notebook paper. All right, so the piece of resistance... The book that I waited for it to be on sale before I bought because it is a seasonal flyer book. Here we go. We've got our moody blues that I think is gorgeous. We have some nice flowers there. Some nice foil colors. I really am getting into this view of this. Um, some nice stickers. Some nice quote stickers. But they're very big. See how big these are? These are going to be like for your currently pages. These are like for your monthlies that you got some space on. I don't think I could use this in my weeklies. And this has been the problem is most of these flowers are, or most things in Happy Planner isn't sized for the planner anymore if you're actively using it for planning. Now, if you're just decor planning and that's perfectly fine, you've got a whole big old section in your week that you want to deco plan this, go for it. But these are freaking huge. Who used to be they made a planner and they made a sticker book to go with the planner. Now it looks like they're just making stickers and making planners and not putting them together. Maybe a dashboard planner, you know, it does have that big section, but these are huge. So we're going to be using these. I'm going to show you how I use them, um, but they will probably be used in more of a deco plan space area. I mean, because they're very pretty, very gorgeous, but very, that's a quarter of a page. That's how big that one is. So I waited to buy it um, because I think that it would be great for monthly. Now, these I think are gorgeous. I love those. So that's the one page I bought it for. The, you know, it's fitting them in, finding the smaller ones. The bigger ones will probably go on my monthlies. Like I will do a, you know, since we have the black and white. And gray work planner inserts these can become my monthly images on my uh, dividers and my currently pages and so we'll be working through that but that's the plan for this one it's very big point very very big pieces um, so you'll see that as we work through and set that up I'm going to probably do a setup video a flip through of the setup after I'm done with it all right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this haul video. Let me pop this one out so that I can get it out of my face. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the haul video. Remember that Psychic Defense is Sunday night at 8 p.m. Um, and we show you how to set up my week. Some things you will probably be seeing. You will probably be seeing my monthly setup for my purse planner. You will also begin seeing budget videos. Uh, and that may be weekly or monthly. It depends on when I set down to tell you the bills and do my budget. So you guys can see how it is to be a gig worker, an economy worker, or a network psychic, and manage your money in a poly household. All right, y'all. You guys have a great night. I do want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Um, sorry, I normally got someone else to do that. Yeah, thank you, Beverly Walker, Mika G, Kathy. Mary Winfield, Brenda Bryant, Shannon C, Shannon D, Lady Gwendolyn, Charles Shaw, Dottie the Psychic, Tracy Vaughn, Katlyn Bell, and Devon. If you'd like to learn how to support the PCSP network, you can do so by visiting PCSP.com. Bye, y'all. Can't stop me now